spruce, larch, cedar. The Alps region is one of the most wooded in France. This forest, located in Arit, follows a sustainable exploitation model. It's the first condition for obtaining Bois des Alpes certification. The label, supported by Europe, guarantees the traceability and quality of wood from the French Alps, from sawmill to final construction. So here we do a gardening cut that's removing large trees to make room for younger ones, which enables the forest to develop and renew itself naturally. The Bois des Alpes certification helps us supply local industry, using local soils with wood coming from a short supply chain. Fourteen years ago, the local timber sector decided to pull together and face up to more competitive offers from countries such as Germany and Austria. The label was established in 2011. Over 40% of the project is funded by the European Union's cohesion policy. That's close to 326,000 euros. Today, there are 94 sites where consumers can buy Bois des Alpes certified wood and 67 companies associated with the label. Among them is this carpentry workshop. Its director is proud to be able to guarantee the origin of the beams and frames used for each order. But what's the difference between wood that's labelled Bois des Alpes and others? Bois des Alpes is a system of certification. It's local wood, but with a whole set of technical specifications. It has to be dry, it has to be of good quality, and it has to be prepared and worked in the region. So it's not just that the tree has grown in the Alps, it's the whole cycle, the traceability that is managed in the Alps. Nearly 160 public or private buildings in the region have obtained certification, such as this residence near Grenoble or the Maison de la Vigne et du Vin in Apremont. For its architect, the label not only reduces CO2 emissions, it guarantees supply. We're very impacted by conflicts that are relatively far away, and if we break our dependence on them, we have the absolute certainty of being supplied. In relation to the question of CO2, choosing wood is already a powerful act and we have very, very little transport of our wood.